Hi. I'm a co-founder and CEO of Z Tractor. Uh, over the time, diesel tractors created a number of problems for farmers and environment. We are here to build a self-driving electric tractor. Uh, I will not spend a lot of time on the, the numbers and showing the need of the product, but here are the uh, three major uh, numbers we are aiming to change. We don't want to see this uh, picture anymore in our farms, in our neighborhoods, or in our areas where we farm. Uh, it's time now because everything like mobility and the environmental friendly vehicles became uh, number one priority for all buyers of auto or any type of vehicles. We compared it, our vehicle with the other applications and it's winning almost in every category for self-driving where we have high, where we don't have high, high, highway approval issue and challenge with the safety and with the batteries where we don't have extra weight on top of the vehicle like we have in any other cases. This is a typical farmer that's an USDA data. Uh, we interviewed more than 1,000 farmers. They all uh, were extremely positive and almost 50% of them were ready to place pre-order for our tractors. It's extremely simple environment. We have to un uh, consider that it's private ownership. It's a fenced environment. We don't have uh, complexity of the uh, highway or the road. So the cost of total ownership is decreasing, cost of the operation is decreasing, and uh, it's just environmental friendly, more efficient vehicle for farmers. We have partnerships with the big brands and government. We have uh, early adapters who are considering to work with us on in, in terms of like placing the pre-orders. We have free technologies under our company, which are IP. This is software, obviously, smart gearbox, and drone pad for charging and calling the drones, refilling them. This is a market size by 2020. That's the year we are aiming to deliver uh, our tractors to the market. Thank you very much. Okay. How are you going to build the tractor, the whole manufacturing thing, or? So we are, out, we are outsourcing manufacturing to our manufacturing partners. We, don't, we, don't, we are not capital intensive business because we just design and uh, supervise the manufacturing. Uh, being 58 is not an easy age because you are not very techy. So the question is, how does a 58 years, I'm 58 so I can joke <laughs> about this age. So, being 58, how, how do you expect to train farmers to be able to take this kind of nice gadget, I don't know how big it is, and make it work? What's the range? What happens in sunny days versus rainy days? Uh, so it's not solar powered. As I mentioned, we are just charging a drone with the solar. And uh, we have like two hours charge, eight hour work at this moment with the 1600 pound battery and we are working on improving that parameters.